what's been going on around your parts that things look a lot better this past month than the first in the NFL? Uh, Cameron. Man, you know, I think, uh, you know, a little bit of luck, uh, a lot of practice, uh, and guys just getting healthy. You know, I know we've had some injuries early on, whether it was TJ or Alex Highsmith, uh, Chase Claypool. Um, but, you know, we're finding our stride, and um, hopefully it can continue from here on out. Well, I mean, what was it like going through that first month of the season um, for you and that team and, and, and what you've been able to work through that adversity for you, Cameron? You, you know, it, it was a little bit tough um, with the injuries. Uh, you know, they play a factor in every game, and you know they're going to happen throughout the season. Um, but, you know, with that, younger guys got a chance to step up early. Um, and now that's provided depth for us now, and we got to continue to grow with that. But uh, it's just about staying the course, you know, um, understanding that, you know, you're not going to win every game all the time. But uh, what can we learn from it? And how can we get better because of it? Well, and then the other side of the ball, Cameron, um, your rookie running back, your rookie teammate, Najee Harris, appears to be one of those bona fide, to use the phrase, grown ass men running the football in the NFL. What's it been like to have a front row seat watching his blossoming at that position so far for you? Man, well, the cool thing is, uh, you know, during training camp, um, you know, you blow up a play and you think it's for a tackle for loss. Um, but Najee's always fighting for extra yards and he'll shake you out of the hole. And I remember getting pretty annoyed, um, pretty pissed off with myself that uh, he was getting out of it. Um, now that I'm looking back, I'm glad he's doing it now. So, uh, <laughs> glad he's on my sideline. Yeah. How does that affect the team as a whole, though? That style of play and success at it. Um, how does that affect all 53 on the roster for you? When he's you converting think? first downs, I think it's huge. And always falling forward. Um, you know, you get into a game back and forth where, you know, first defense to really, you know, let down uh, is going to pay for it. Um, and, you know, over a game, you just see them start to erode at teams. And uh, we're needing every bit of it. Uh, you know, the best type of defense is the defense on the sideline. And when Najee's converting first down after first down, uh, we love that type of ball. Well, and certainly, too, it, it allows uh, Ben to stay more clean. You know, it, 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 it balances the offense. It definitely keeps the defense from pinning, you know, their ears back and going to hunt the quarterback. And it also keeps you off the field. You know, it affects everything the way that I'm seeing it, Cameron. Of course. You yeah, know? you know, I think it's, uh, you know, to have a monster like that and to him balance out our, our passing attack um, and then still be a, a, a contributor in the passing attack, um, man, it, it helps out all folds and, um, you know, I, I thank Kevin Colbert every day uh, for making that pick. Well, Cameron Hayward here on the Rich Eisen Show. You're born in Pittsburgh, PA, obviously. Uh, well, uh, it's, it's obvious to me, but others may not know you're a Buckeye. What's it like to win as a Steeler in Cleveland, Ohio? What is that feeling like for you? Ooh, um, well, my wife's from Cleveland. Um, okay. So I, always go back, <laughs> I always go back to the stumping grounds and, um, you know, I, 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 I I've always had a fun times in Ohio as a college player, um, and I became an enemy uh, <laughs> 11 years ago. But, yes, you, uh, you know, you always want to get the bragging rights because you feel like that's your hometown. And, you know, me and Ben both have that problem. Yeah, I know. And next up for you is Justin Fields. So I guess the old alumni association is going to have to go out the window for Monday Night Football coming up, correct? Yeah, they might, just a little bit. Okay, just want to make sure about all that. Uh, how, how does it also affect the team? Did you guys know that uh, Miles Garrett showed up uh, as the Grim Reaper yesterday coming to work? Did you see that with the names of all the quarterbacks he's bagged on, on his cape? Did that? I didn't, his... I didn't take a look at it before the game. I saw it after. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cute. Uh, does it piss you off? I mean, does it piss the Steelers? No, off? no, I'm okay. just kidding. Right, no, uh, you know, to each his own. Um, you know, that was a cool outfit. Uh, he sacked a lot of quarterbacks, I'll say that. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.